Step one, loosen the airbox outlet clamp. Step two, remove the retaining clip from the intake tube where it connects to the throttle body. Step three, remove the factory intake tube. Step four, pinch off the side hose using clamp pliers. Step five, disengage the side hose clamp and disconnect the side hose from the factory valve. Step six, plug off the hose and remove the clamp pliers. Remove the electrical connector from the factory valve. Step seven, pinch off the bottom hose. Using another set of clamp pliers, loosen the bottom hose clamp and disengage the clamp from the valve by wiggling it downward. Step eight, remove the two bolts securing the factory valve. Step nine, Break the bottom hose loose using a hook and disengage from the valve. Make sure both fittings on the PPE valve are tightened to 80 pound inches. Also make sure the two screws securing the top connector are tightened. Step 10. Push the bottom fitting of the PPE valve into the coolant hose. Reinstall the two factory bolts to secure the PPE valve in place. Step 11, reconnect the factory connector. Step 12, re-engage the bottom hose clamp with the PPE valve fitting to secure and seal the hose. Step 13, reconnect the side hose and re-engage the hose clamp. Step 14, reinstall the intake tube. Installation complete.